simply derivative refers to an agreement and forward contract is one of the derivative instruments there are other derivative instruments such as future contract options swap so in this video we're going to learn the concept of forward contract and then we'll do two maths on forward contract so without further delay let's start a forward contract is a customized contract between two parties to buy or sell an asset at a specified price on a future day. And this contract is happened in the OTC or over-the-counter market. And it's the market where securities are traded via a broker-dealer network. Now, while doing a forward contract, there must be a condition. That is, there must be underlying assets. So these assets can be two types, either financial assets or commodities. A financial asset is a liquid asset that gets its value from a contractual right or ownership claim. Examples can be cash, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, bank deposits, etc. And commodities are everything that don't fall under financial assets so this can be drink such as sugar, coffee, orange juice, can be grains such as wheat, soybeans, rice, oats, corn, or animal such as cattle, pork, or any other animals, or things that you wouldn't eat such as cotton, lumber, so any product that don't fall under, uh, under financial assets. So in forward, contract when we talk about long and short that means we refer to buy and sell so if i said that you are going to long the contract that means you're going to purchase the contract and if i said that you're going to short the contract that means you're going to sell the contract one of the very important thing in forward contract is spot price and it's very important that you know it without knowing it you cannot do the deal okay so simply spot price means the current market price. So you're making a deal with a party and there must be uh, an underlying asset and it's the condition. Now that particular asset must have a current market price. So if you are making a deal on mango, that mango must have a current market price, right? So Without knowing the current market price of that mango, you cannot make a deal for future date. So you can ask why there are two spot prices, one in the left and the other is on the, on the right side. So the left side, there's spot price and it is denoted as S small letter T and on the right side it is denoted as S capital T. Now let's start with the le left one, which is S small T. Now you're making the deal and there is a current price right now. So if you're making a deal, if making a forward contract right now, that means that uh, that underlying asset must have a current market price and that's your s small t which is the current market price so you're making a deal for three months for example so after three months there must be a spot price right so it's called the future spot price so you're making the deal today that is your current spot price you're locking the deal and you're making the contract for uh, the next three months. So that means that you're going to have a future spot price at that moment, right? So this is the difference between S small t and S capital T. Now, let's know about forward price. What is a forward price? Is your lock price or predetermined lock price? What is that? Now, let's say that you are a buyer. Okay, it's not necessary that it's always from the buyer's perspective. While doing the forward contract, we'll do the math from the both perspective. But 
for now, let's say that you are a buyer and you are going to buy 100 kilo of mango from a gardener after three months because currently you are seeing that the current spot price of each kilo mango is $10 and you are predicting that after three months the price of a per kilo mango will rise up to $15. So you're locking the price with the gardener that after three months the gardener will sell you uh, 100 kilo mango for uh, $12 per kilo and you're going to make $3 profit if the your prediction comes true after three months and the per kilo uh, mango will cost $15 that means that the uh, you know seller will be bound to sell you per kilo mango at $12 so everyone is buying at $15 and you're buying at uh, $12. So you're, you're buying $3 less from others. So you're, you're making $3 profit on per kg mango, right? So that is called forward price. If you're locking per kilo mango for $12 after three months, that means that you're locking the price for future. That's your forward price. And it is denoted as F0 and bracket there's capital t now there is an explanation about this uh, reference now f means forward price this zero means initial spot price and the bracket there is a capital t that refers to the future spot price so this is the you know explanation of this reference f zero t and it refers to forward price now i'm making a you know second video the second part of this concept because i'm not bringing the math uh, you know in this topic because this is the explanation overview of this forward contract and i'm making a second video where to find the math so this is the theoretical part is over i think everything is clear and you give all the ideas and all the information you you need to know before doing the math so what in our second video we'll start the math and we'll do uh, multiple maths i think everything will be clear so if you have understood it or have any conclusion con confusion sorry then you can ask me in the comment section so thank you very much for watching it